Hey, welcome to How to Play, brought to you by the game's capital. Today we're looking at another kids game called Sleeping Queens. Even though that this is a kids game, even grown-ups like to play it. Let's have a look at what's in the box. Well, this is a card game. So what there is, is 12 queen cards and the rest of the cards form a deck. Now I better tell you how to play. First thing that you have to do is lay all the queens out on the table face down like this. Then each player gets five cards from the deck and then they play their, then you take turns playing, playing the cards. Now I better tell you what the cards do. So, there are heaps of king cards in the deck. If you play a king card, you get to wake up whatever queen you want. Then you place it face up in front of you so everyone else can see. This is important because, it, because when you get four queens, you, you're the winner. If you play a knight card, you get to steal someone else's queen and put it in front of you. But, if the other person has a dragon, they can show it and say, Rah! And that stops your knight from stealing the queen. We, you don't have to say "ra," but we like to. The next card is a sleeping potion. If you play a sleeping potion, you get to put another person's queen back to sleep. But if the other person has a magic wand, they can cancel the person's sleeping potion. The last special card is the Jester. If you play a Jester, you, you get to pick another card from the deck. If it is a special card like a King, you get to keep it. But if it is a number card, you have to count round the players starting from you and whoever it lands on gets to wake up another Queen. But the rest of the cards are number cards. What you can do with them is discard them to get a replacement. For the first one is a single card to get one new card, a double, the two the same cards to get two new cards, or even a sum. For example, three plus four equals seven. And you get three new cards. One more thing, there are three special queens. The first one is a rose, is the rose queens. If you draw the rose queen, you get to immediately wake up another queen. The, the next two, if you have the cat queen and you pick up the dog queen, you have to put one of them back because they can't be together. So the winner is the first person to wake up four queens or queens to the value of 40. To do that, each queen has numbers on it. The numbers is either, some of them are five, some of them are 10, some of them are 15, and one of them is 20. In summary, the aim of the game is to wake up the sleeping queens. Players play cards from their hand to wake up the queens, steal queens from other players, or put queens back to sleep. If you have number cards, try and make a sum so that you can replace those cards. Be careful using the jester as you might give someone else a queen. The first player to wake up four queens or score 40 points is the winner. Sleeping Queens is a great family game. I started playing when I was four and I still love it. So if you haven't got Sleeping Queens at home, you should get it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Happy gaming!